Hi YouTube, Giovanni again, out out here in sunny California. You'll hear the airplanes flying over from time to time because I had a house that goes right over their path, and you'll hear the birds chirping. But today's topic is <clears throat> many faces of music producing perspective. I get a lot of emails of people wanting to know about perspective and songwriting, so I figured I'd just make a video. It'll be that much simpler for me to explain to people. You'll hear the planes flying over like this one coming up. So I'll let it pass and continue on. Okay. Basically what I have here is a list of different perspectives you want to learn to write music from. And when I say write, I mean everything. Sing, produce, uh, mix, arrange, engineer, mastering, video perspective. So I'm going to go down the list. Number one, you want to write from a singer's perspective, meaning what your voice can handle. Or if you can imagine a different singer singing your song, you write from their perspective. Number two, you want to write from a songwriter's perspective. You say, well, what's the difference? Well, not everybody that sings a song is the songwriter. So you want to put yourself in both of those shoes. Number three, you want to write your music from a music producer's perspective, meaning learn to produce your music. Number four, how to mix and arrange your own music, so a mixer and arranger perspective. Number five, uh, how to engineer and master Engineer, engineering and mastering perspective. Number six, video producer's perspective. Number seven, which is the final one, the audience perspective. What point are you trying to get across to the audience? What's the message? Does it have emotion behind it? Does it have feeling behind it? So the message is very important in your song. As far as the audience perspective, if every song sounds the same and you have the same timid voice or strong voice, there's no like, dynamics from one song to another, they're all straight, flat across the board, then that's going to play a big part of what's called your audience perspective. Now let me go over these. Singer's perspective. You want to write music that complements your voice. Now if you're writing music for someone else, or you have a friend that you would like to have sing a song, then you also want to write the music for their voice, or maybe arrange your own writings to fit their voice, and that's very important, because not every singer can sing every song, okay? People have different tonal voices, and, and different octaves that their voices can reach, and different dynamics that they can and cannot perform while singing. So you want to keep that in, in, in mind there. All right? Songwriter's perspective. When you're writing a song, what I mean by songwriter's perspective is that are you just a songwriter? Are you able to sing the song that you write and put feeling and emotion behind it? Or is it just words you're writing? Another airplane. Oh. by someone, then you're just writing from a songwriter's perspective. If you don't understand melody or tonal melody, how to hum it, and phrase it, or rephrase it, then you're writing from a songwriter's perspective. But nevertheless, these are the many faces of music producing perspective, okay? Third one, music producer's perspective. Are you producing your own music? Does your music you're producing match the melody of the original song you were writing? Does your dynamics come in on time? Are your dynamics in the right place at the right time? 
are your dynamics emotional or are they just dynamics it's like I could do this slap my hand down on a table that's a dynamic there's no emotion behind it but if I go that has emotion behind it that has dynamic I put feeling into it I put a little bit of anger behind it the second hit so that's what I mean by dynamics you can either or you can it makes a big difference when you're writing your music when your music is from a music producer's perspective mixers arrangers perspective are you mixing your own songs meaning your drums guitars piano violin strings uh, your organ, saxophone, whatever your instruments are, are you mixing them in at the right time to bring certain instruments in and have them fade out to complement the dynamics of the song? Engineer mastering perspective. When you're mastering, are you trying to bring out certain points and aspects of your song? Or is your song have the same dynamics straight across the board from the beginning to the end? You want your song to have different dynamics and different effects and different parts of the song to really give the song what it needs to stand out and captures the audience attention. That way they're able to hear the message and listen to the complete song. Video producers, now this is important. Video producers perspective is simply if you have a song that you have written and you can imagine up here a video for the song you can write the video to complement the song if your song is about dogs running on the beach then you can use this up here to write the scripts for your own videos that will complement the music of dogs running on the beach and that way you have a video that complements the song, that complements the singer, that complements the title. All right? And then once again, the audience perspective. What I say mean by audience perspective is once you finish the singer's perspective, songwriter's perspective, music producer's perspective, mixer, arranger's perspective, engineer, mastering perspective, video producer's perspective, now you have the audience perspective. Can you actually sit back and watch that video and listen to that music and understand what the song is about? And not have to ask, what are they singing about? What are they talking about? What, what does the video have to do with the music? If you can't, there's a problem. Another airplane. someone else who has never heard your music okay <clears throat> that's what I mean by someone else who has never heard your music if you cannot put yourself in all six seats and understand your own writing from the different perspectives no one else is going to be able to understand it either you have to be able to understand your own writing and your own perspectives before anyone else can understand where you're going with your music Hold on, this is a big aircraft going by. A huge aircraft going by.
These perspectives do matter when you're writing music, when you're producing music. Everything does matter. Okay, you want to keep all of that in mind. Learn to step out of the singer's position and take up the songwriter's perspective. Okay? Learn to step out of the songwriter's perspective and take up the music producer's perspective. Learn to step out of the music producer's perspective and sit in the seat of the mixer and the arranger's perspective. Move out of the seat of the mixer and arranger's perspective and learn to sit in the seat of the engineering mastering perspective. When you get that understood, you move out of the seat of that and then you sit in the seat of then you sit in the seat of the video producer's perspective then once you're finally done with that not that you actually have to actually produce the video but you can at least write the script for the video all right then once you're done with that then you can sit back Move out of the video producer's perspective and sit in the seat of the audience and listen to everything from the audience perspective. And we, what I mean by listen to everything, as your song is playing, go over the uh, video scripts for the song and make sure the video scripts fit the song. If you can do that, and everything is a big cohesion within your song writing, I guarantee you, people will not only love your writing but they will understand it and they will love it because they understand it and you'll get a lot further so hopefully this will help those of you who've been emailing me asking me questions about me what I mentioned in one of my other videos about you know stepping out of one person and jumping into another person mentally that is, or figuratively, okay, and being all, being everything and being all, because the more you understand about the six items that I mentioned, it's going to make you a better singer, songwriter, music producer, and a video producer, or a video script writer, but you have to discipline your mind to be able to take on the six different titles here. And don't be afraid to learn to do it. Don't be afraid to uh, sing your own songs. Don't be afraid to, to produce your own songs. Don't be afraid to mix and arrange your own songs. Don't be afraid to engineer and master your own songs. Mastering is not that difficult. The industry makes it more difficult than what it is, but it really isn't. They're trying to keep their jobs. That's all they're trying to do. Okay? And learn to do the video producing perspective. That it doesn't have to be a million dollar budget. Get a good camcorder, produce your own videos according to the song. And then, most of all, but not least of all, the audience perspective, the listener's perspective. If you can put everything together, it's like a cake, the ingredients. You got the different ingredients to a cake, you have different ingredients to music producing faces of music producing perspective so just look at everything as you're making a cake and you want the final product to taste delicious and you want the people to love your cake so much that they place order after order after order which is buying your music through iTunes or any other web uh, web store that you can sell your music on so hopefully this helps those of you who've been sending me emails and answer your questions any more questions just email me and I'll try to answer them in another video. So then peace and happy music producing and wish you all the best. Shiavon from Boxing Productions. I'm not in my studio so these this tape won't be edited so it's going straight to YouTube the way it is.